Hey tasters, today I'm meeting my friend Vasilis for shopping. He sent me a DM on Instagram this morning telling me, emergency Anna, I need new sunglasses. Meet me in town at 10 a.m. Don't ask me why. He hasn't said. Let's go. Emergency sunglasses? Tasters, I'm here outside the sunglasses shop waiting for Vasilis to show up. It's not mine. Well, it's not mine. I don't know. Oh, it's a white phone. The white phone? Annabelle, come closer. What's wrong? Listen to me, Annabelle. What is it? Annabelle, we've been friends for a long time and there's not a lot I haven't taught you, but I have been holding something back. Am I going to need a glass of Bordeaux to get through this scene? Annabelle, I'm a spy. You're a what? You heard me, I'm a spy. Wow, that's so cool. Do you get dental with that? And all this time, I thought you were just a computer teacher. Yes, that's my code name, the computer teacher. Wow, that's a long code name. Seven syllables or something. So why are you telling me now? Annabelle, I need your help. How can I help? Do you need emergency sunglasses? You can borrow mine. No, Anna. This is bigger than sunglasses. The shopping was just a cover to get you here. I have loads of sunglasses. This is Cyprus. I don't need sunglasses, Anna. I need wine help. I can help you with that. An agent is doing a drop-off here in Larnaca at Vinaria Wine Bar. They have nice tapas menus. My contact is going to drop off a micro SD card in plain sight. Any of the other diners might be a spy to intercept him. If they realize I have it, they will take it off me one way or another. That's why my boss is sending the SOM. Is this an actual sommelier? Court of Master Sommeliers level 4, Court of Master Assassin level 3. He needs to take a practical. So, what do you need me for? Well, here's the thing, Annabelle. I don't know how to order wine in a restaurant. And if I draw attention to myself in any way, or if I hesitate, it's game over. I can help you with that. Annabelle, I'm worried about this mission. I need you to come with me. Sure, I'll come with you. Let's go order some wine. So Annabelle, what should I do first? You need to ask to see the wine list. Excuse me, can we see the wine list, please? Here you go. Thank you. Thank Our you. Bible. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's good because on um, the introduction of the page, we tell you exactly everything what's going on in the Vinaria, the concept and what we do here. So what do you think we are going to eat? Right, I love this place. Look, three menus, so this is for after 2 o'clock in the afternoon until 11 o'clock at night. What time is it now? It's 11. 11 in the morning. So actually, we should look at the breakfast menu. And this is their specials for the day. I think while it's still early, let's have uh, the breakfast cheese board. Do you yeah. want to share that with me? Let's go with cheese. Yeah, cheese. Okay, we've chosen what we're eating. What sort of uh, wine uh, pairs with that? 
generally with the breakfast menu, you probably want to order a sparkling wine. No, no sparkling wines. The micro SD card will be hidden in the cock. It might just fly around the room and we'll lose it. So you want to appear like uh, an average diner. So you want to order a Chardonnay or a Pinot Grigio for a light meal, so just a salad. For heavier dishes, you may want to choose a Merlot or a Cabernet Sauvignon. But here at Veneria, they have an excellent wine list. You have the ability to try samples and the waiters can all help you. The staff are very knowledgeable. So you shouldn't hesitate to just ask for help. Okay, but what do I do after that? When the waiter brings the bottle to the table, he or she will show it to you. Oh, why? You're meant to check that this is actually the wine that you've ordered. Uh -huh. The waiter will then take the cork out and place it on the table in front of you. Do I smell the cork? No, you don't need to smell it, but you should pick it up and check that it's the right cork for the bottle. Oh. Also, check that the cork is not wet. If the cork is wet, this might mean that the wine has been oxidized. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. I check the cork. What happens next? The waiter will then pour you a small amount, a sample for you to taste. This is not for you to check if you like the wine. This is for you to check if the wine is flawed. So what signs uh, should I be looking for then? Take the glass, swirl the wine so you can bring it into contact with oxygen and then take a good sniff. Does the wine smell of a musty basement, wet carport, or even wet dog? A wet dog? Yes, this is a common sign that the wine might be corked. It's very unusual in a restaurant to find a corked wine, but it does happen. Is there anything else? Does the wine smell a little sweet, like jam? Jam? But I love jam. Not in your wine glass, you don't. Jam is nice on toast. If you can smell jam, it's usually a problem with the transportation of the wine. It got too hot in the vehicle and the wine is cooked. Ooh. And finally, can you smell nail polish in the glass? Nail polish? This smell is a sign of volatile acidity. It's, it's a sign of bacterial contamination. It's very rare, but you don't have to drink that either. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So I'm smelling for a wet dog, jam, nail polish. This is your wine, what you asked for it. It's a Paphos region, it's a city. It's a very rare grape variety from Paphos, from Ara. From Ara. From Ara. You'll find it very interesting, very good taste, and it will go perfectly with your uh, cheese bottle of choose. Excellent, I can't wait. As you can see, it's a little bit wet at the top, it should yeah. be, but not all the way through. It's not oh. cracked. It sealed the wine perfectly. I see nothing wrong with this cork. Perfect. So I swirl. Okay. Swirl. What can you smell? Any flaws? I smell a lot of uh, bananas. It's no flaws. It's it's exotic. Very exotic. Great. So you've established that this wine is not flawed. It's actually beautifully aromatic. Let's uh, let's have a proper taste. I love the, the earthiness of this white, uh, all the fruit, and uh, so exotic as well, and, and so much, you can taste the sunshine, you can tell this is Cypriot white, it's full of sun. Wow! Oh, that looks Our morning spectacular. Where you can find the six months Malchego, the strong cheddar, the camembert, peach. Oh, that's beautiful. Grapes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Definitely pairs with white, huh? Absolutely. All these apples and these peaches, they'll just sing. White wine goes really well with strong cheeses. Mm. I'll join you. Delicious. This tastes a great, Annabelle. Thank you for the wine class. Now you know how to order wine in a restaurant. I do indeed. Cheers.
Excuse me, Annabelle. I need to use the bathroom. Of course. Where is he? I guess that's the price of having interesting friends. Cheers. Guys, if you've enjoyed this wine adventure, don't forget to give me a like and leave a comment below. We love talking about wine. Also, have you subscribed yet? Have you subscribed yet? <laughs>